Marvel Studios is doubling down on the MCU. So says the latest rumor that Jack Schaefer will head up the magical realm of the MCU, similar to how James Gunn carved out his section of the cosmic portion of the MCU. Before we get to this rumor, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos here at the Trent Report. But let's get into this here. Wrote this over at thatparkplace.com. Rumor, Marvel Studios to tap Jack Schaefer to craft a magical section of MCU. Schaefer previously admitted her disdain for canon, quote, that violates my values system. So if you're not familiar with Jack Schaefer, she wrote uh, the Black Widow uh, film. She was the WandaVision creator, and she is the upcoming creator. She's the creator for the upcoming Agatha Darkhold Diaries series. And according to a rumor from Scooper, can we get some toast? She will be heading up the magical section of the MCU. This is what can we get some toast posted to X. He wrote, just like how James Gunn was tasked with shepherding the cosmic side of the MCU, Jack Schaefer is tasked with crafting her own, quote, magical section of the universe. The puzzle pieces are slowly falling into place. Uh, I think given the fact that she's been around since Black Widow, been around since WandaVision, those pieces have been there for a long time and those pieces don't fit into uh, success. <laughs> they don't fit into increased viewership on Disney+. Plus. They don't fit into increased box office halls. Uh, these puzzle pieces go to a completely different puzzle, which is lose lots of money, <laughs> lose viewership. But and we'll explain why uh, I think this is the case, uh, because Jack Schaefer is a radical activist rather than any kind of television or film screenwriter. Uh, she's made this very clear in a interview uh, with Inverse back in 2019 while promoting the Black Widow film. Uh, specifically, she said, I'm not interested in, in adhering to comic canon that is discriminatory in any way or that violates my values system. I'm not sure how any comic canon would be discriminatory or violate her value system, but clearly she thinks that there is stuff in Marvel's past uh, in their wildly successful stories that they sold in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s clearly are discriminatory and violates her value system. Uh, utterly ridiculous notion there. Clearly someone who is an activist and is trying to put their identity politics and their uh, bizarre value system ahead of uh, traditional morals that we saw in a lot of those uh, old Marvel comic book uh, series. That wasn't the only thing that she said, though, in that Inverse article. She said she wanted to use the Marvel Cinematic Universe to, quote, make big positive statements. She went on and said, I wasn't a huge superhero movie fan before starting to work at Marvel, but now that I'm doing it, there's just so much opportunity to make big positive statements. So you're probably wondering, what does she mean by big positive statements? That sounds pretty good. But here we go, especially something like Captain Marvel and Black Widow to have these female-centered stories. I just can't not be involved in that. So clearly trying to promote feminism through Captain Marvel and Black Widow. Doing, uh, We know they had gender swaps in both of those films. They turned uh, Marvel, the original Captain Marvel, into Annette Bening, into a woman. And then they also turned uh, Taskmaster into a woman in Black Widow. So clearly trying to promote uh, feminism through those films. And that is what she's trying to say when she means big positive statements. I think we can uh, read between the lines there. Uh, she also made it clear that she's doing this not only just through the stories that she's telling, but through the people that she's hiring to tell those stories. Uh, she indicated she hired the writer's room for WandaVision based on gender quotas, informing Inverse that the makeup of the room was, quote, incredibly intentional and it was very much supported by Marvel. The writer's room featured eight staff writers with four of them being women. Uh, to this point, she also said, I choose to be a part of projects that are about positive representation. We need to see women. We need to see people of color. We need to see nuanced experiences. And we need to see different perspectives on screen. Nothing there about telling good, solid stories. Uh, and it's very telling right there. Uh, that that is what she chose to say instead of actually trying to promote good, solid, interesting, compelling stories that people want to watch, read, uh, take in, debate, discuss, and continue to share with their families uh, throughout the years. Uh, she went on and said, I choose to work with people who are interested in changing perspectives for the better and putting a world on screen that is something we can aspire to and have conversations about and moving in a direction that will create a world I hope will be better for my children. So I, again, we don't really know what this means because she hasn't actually told us what her values are, but we do know that she uh, does not like... Uh, projects that are discriminatory and value, uh, violates her values from the past Marvel canon. So I think we can deduce uh, what that actually means. Her values are not, in a not in a aligned with what uh, I would argue that most majority of Americans share. 
Uh, she also noted she wanted to tone down the violence in superhero films. So we're going to kind of getting a, a bigger glimpse here into what her values are. She said, I would like to see alternatives to violence in superhero movies. Maybe I would qualify that by saying alternatives to glamorizing guns and wep weaponry. So she doesn't want people uh, to basically use firearms for self-defense. I think that is uh, pretty telling right there. Uh, at least that's what I I'm, I'm taking away from this. Maybe she's meaning something else. But usually when you see people saying stuff like this, they're trying to take away your guns. Uh, and they really and, and eventually they admit that. So I'm going to go on the assumption that that's exactly what she's trying to do. She's, she doesn't want people to defend themselves. And then she goes on. That's one of the reasons I love Captain Marvel. It's all about inner power and the destruction is not at the expense of human life. Uh, I really don't know what she's even talking about there. If you actually watch that Captain Marvel film, she clearly uh, destroys people's lives with her power, especially the uh, the Kree. Uh, she destroys multiple uh, starships. So uh, lots of Kree uh, died. So I really don't know what in the world she's talking about there. Nevertheless, she goes on and says she wanted uh, new shows to feature more morally gray characters as well. She says, my kids are really obsessed with good guys versus bad guy. Sometimes I explain to them every good guy can be a bad guy and vice versa. It's complicated, but that's sort of lost on them. That's one thing that I think can be explored more in the future. I would hope that there are ever-increasing moves toward the gray and toward complexity. So again, kind of showing off where her values are, that they are clearly inverted. She doesn't like the idea of good guys versus bad guys. She thinks that uh, good guys can be a bad guy, which that doesn't really make any sense. If you're a good guy, you wouldn't actually become a bad guy because you would... Uh, refuse to delve into those temptations, make those bad choices, you would have been a bad guy. Now, that's not to say you can't tell a story where someone does indeed make a bad decision, uh, is is uh, repentant of it and seeks forgiveness and wants to uh, change their course. And I think stories like that are really good. But this idea of having this kind of moral uh, gray is utterly ridiculous. There are indeed things that are good and true, and there are things that are evil and wrong. And trying to uh, muddy that by wanting to make it be gray is just utterly ridiculous. So uh, this is where the, according to this rumor, the Marvel Studios and the Marvel Cinematic Universe are going with. They're going to embrace Jack Schaefer and her radical vision for the MCU, as specifically the magical portion of the MCU, where they will be discussing witches, such as Catherine Hahn's Agatha Harkness in the upcoming, uh, I don't even know, what are they calling it now? The Darkhold Diaries, I guess. It's, it's gone through like four or five titles now. But that is what they will be doing. I assume they'll be doing stuff in movies as well, if that is if this rumor turns out to be true. But I leave it to you guys. What do you make of this rumor and Marvel Studios reportedly going uh, and, and embracing Jack Schaefer for the magical part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe?